YouTube. Well, today it really does bring me so much joy to show you all this 1999 Mercedes-Benz SL500 with 47,000 miles. This is the R129 generation. This, to me, hands down, is the best SL. Anyways, this generation began in 1990 and it was produced all the way till 2002. There was the SL300 um, that came with the, the six cylinder engine. Uh, here's the mid pack SL500, and there was also the SL600. It has these pretty good looking 17 inch wheels. Well, that's pretty much the design of a wheel that I'd love to put onto my C230 someday. Those are 245-45-17s. You can see them back, it's just as fresh looking. Uh, this design came out so long ago, and just look at it. Amongst all the other cars, it just, it just looks so fresh. I love it. Um, this car also was the first to feature an automatic roll bar deployment system. So in the case of a rollover, a roll bar will automatically pop up to help protect the passengers. But yeah, I love the R129 so much. Let me show you all the trunk while I'm at it. It's a little bit more than a grocery holder to be expected. This car has such a tiny ass. What is, do we have here? I'm sorry. Oh, Barrett Jackson. I love the previous owner of this car then. He was an enthusiast. Awesome taste. The CD changer is right here to the side. Slide away. And you have the magazine pops out. Six disc. Ugh, the solidity of that trunk lid when it closed. It was just a thud. Now, of course, remember, this thing is a convertible. It just doesn't look like it. This top is removable. It just dislatches, and a soft top will retract from uh, below. Kind of like what Ford did with uh, the 2002 Ford Thunderbird. Interior is in excellent shape. Of course, it does need some conditioning here and there. The car isn't that clean, but it doesn't take much hard work to bring it to perfection. Everything on the door panel is cushiony, the wood grain trim, memory seating up to three settings, and here is where you adjust the seat, backrest, and the headrest. Door pocket flips up. It's very deep, too. It will be a pain to uh, dig down deep or something like that screw that's just in there. This is only a two-seater. You know how in many uh, two-door cars, when you roll the seat all the way back, you'll start cramming onto the backrest? But just watch the backrest. It will automatically retract once it crashes onto the back. See? <laughs> and then it just moves along. Very few cars in the market do that. Alrighty, just want to give you all a glimpse of this car. It's not that often I run into them out here. Um, this one, again, is in such excellent shape. It's just amazing how beautiful this car is. It doesn't smell old, nor does it smell like crayons, like the W203 Mercedes after a few years. But anyways, just take a look at these seats. They are soft and comfortable. The place you'd want to be in in the road trip. Not a whole lot of thigh support, unfortunately. Um, this seat is very low to the ground, so that there's not a whole lot you can do. Since this seat is so soft and supple and you can't roll the seat back quite a lot. It will be a comfortable place to be in. Um, the transmission hump is a bit on the fat side, I will admit that, but this is um, an overall comfortable car. Interior quality, not too bad. Um, it's a complete carryover from the S-Class. Uh, dashboard, all soft hutch. This little lid over here. These lids do warp. Usually they get out of shape, and you can see this one isn't too perfect. You have that little cubby that slides up, automatic climate control, radio. You should have a cassette in here. Let me start it up. I don't want this thing to come on. Eject. And watch this. I have this same exact radio in my garage, but um, I put an aftermarket radio in my C230 because you really can't do much in terms of uh, Bluetooth, auxiliary, and etc. Dislatch the trunk. When the car needs to be towed so the alarm won't go off. The door locks, hazards, electronic stability control program, traction control, and stability control. This windscreen over here, um, it does work well for um, the shading, of course, to lock, block the sun. Though, once you have the hard top removed and you have the, the soft top down, this really does help reduce wind noise inside the car and makes the ride very quiet and you can actually have an actual conversation even in the highway. So this is quite nice. The power mirrors right there, heated seats. The windows has an auto down function, doesn't have auto up. Um, once you move this button down, it would pop up this... Uh, the hard top over here and you just remove it place it somewhere and then you'll be able to make use of the soft top which will come up we have the five-speed automatic the 
gearbox, very reliable transmission, even made its way into the Sprinter vans. My 2000 C230 compressor has the same exact gearbox, the power mirrors. Uh, going back to the gearbox, here's the winter mode. Essentially makes the car take off in second gear, help reduce wheel slippage. Again, I like the, the wood grain trim over here, it looks very real. We open up over here, we have this little cubby. We have two cup holders. They flip out. Well, Germans aren't that great when it comes to cup holders, but these aren't too bad. They fit big drinks, fortunately. Slide this back down, accordion style. Armor slides forward, and it's cushiony. Also pops open, like so. Uh, there's this lid over here. I'm not exactly sure to what. Probably to one of the sun visors, it seems. Ashtray in there. Yep. There's a cigarette lighter again. This car was a mild smoker, unfortunately. Steering wheel's nicely thick all the way around. It's leather wrapped. Cruise control lever up here. And the monoblade wiper. I love it. My car has the same exact wiper. Not the fastest, but it's just so awesome to see. And it's funny watching drivers who are driving in front of me or behind me. They see that single wiper wiping away and <laughs> they just start staring at me like, what the hell? The steering wheel also tilts and telescopes. There's a little switch underneath right there. See? Tilts and telescopes. There it goes, rises away, so you guys can see. The headliner is very cushiony. You have your shit handled stationary. Yeah, it was the lid to the vanity light, unfortunately. The map lights, and of course the interior lighting as well, the dome light. Rearview mirror dims. You also have the universal garage door opener underneath with its mirror and vanity light. At least the side's not broken. Let me show you what's behind the, the front seats, by the way. This is to unlock it. A little storage area in case you want to use the trunk and you have some storage compartments here you have this first aid kit stowed in there and let me see what's in the other side I'm sorry if I'm jiggling the camera oh, looks like the amp to the Bose sound system another look at the HIDs those were the latches it's a 302 horsepower 5 liter V8 this is a conventional car. Right there you have the tube for the transmission fluid. So this is an easy car to service. It's not going to be rocket science. Sounds beautiful. Shakes the car too. I love it. This engine's just so lively. Anyways, YouTube, I just want to show you around this car, just give you all a good feel of it. Um, these cars are becoming increasingly rare to spot, and it does bring me so much joy to bring you all this car. Anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching.